Hi right, gang, welcome back. T-Roy here. Um, I've had a lot of questions about the grill that I use this gas grill on the back porch. It's a DCS, Dynamic Cooking Systems. Uh, they were recently, I don't know, a few years ago, merged with Fisher and Paykel. But I've got one that's, it was built in 1997. It's an old one, it's about 16, 17 years old now. I try to clean it once a, once a year, twice a year, if I get, you know, in the mood. But, um, after 15, 16 years, however long it's been, it needs some help. It needs some replacement parts. So I thought well, I'd walk off through that, cleaning it, replacing the parts that are messed up on it, and making it brand new again. It's all stainless steel, construction, uh, the, the, the burners themselves are cast iron. It's really a well-built machine. It can, uh, it can go up to like 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit if you pull it full blast. Or I can do slow and slow, uh, low and slow cook on it, uh, 200 degrees if I need to. But it's a fantastic grill. I really didn't know the difference between just a regular one that you would buy at a local hardware store, or an expensive one. I can I can assure you these DCS grills, they rock. Let me show you what I'm working with. All right, so there's my grill, DCS. See it stamped down here. There you go, dynamic cooking systems. And it had the old click that to start it. it has two burners, so I got two valves. I did have to replace the valves on them um, a couple years ago. Uh, started giving me a little trouble, but uh, that that wasn't a big deal. Also put an electric electric start on there. I tried drilling it there, but the pipes going back here didn't let this fit in there, so I should have plugged that hole back up. Works great though. Got me a little electric start on here. Alright, let me show you. If I ever want to do a rotisserie, I got a spot over here on the side right here. Right there, it's got a little slot in it for a, for a rotisserie if I ever want to hook one up. I haven't done it yet. May get to that here in the next project. So we open her up. Got my warming rack. Got two stainless steel grates down here. Man, this I apologize, it looks so bad, y'all, but uh I guess I'll do this uh, so y'all can see what's going on here. All right, under the grates. Y'all can see that down there. Dynamic cooking systems. Uh, they have these these uh, tubes. They're they're basically just uh, ceramic. See ceramic tubes. Uh, this is what they use to sear. If you want to sear something, it's a full sear grate here. The whole area you can sear whatever the heck you want. It's not like a a certain side or a certain section of the grill is dedicated for searing. This whole thing will sear. And if I pull these up, actually this is what I'm replacing. Y'all see how messed up these are? They're starting to crack and get brittle. This one's cracked. But uh, this is this is what I'm replacing. This part right here. And this just comes up like that. And I'm turn my light on here so y'all can see. There we go. Down here, you see my burner. And again, I apologize for all the gook down in there. All the gunk. That's why I need to clean this baby out. Here's my burner. There's a burner right there. And they make them stainless steel nowadays, but this is uh this is uh cast iron, if I remember correctly. 25,000 BTUs per burner, and I've got two of them in there. There you go, and that's what the inside looks like. All right, let me set all this dirty stuff down. I'll be right back. I just want to show y'all the other side real quick. See all these these tubes? They just man, 16 years of use. Yeah, you'd expect them to kind of start going bad, but uh, just ceramic tubing, y'all. And I could reuse these these uh, the holders here, but uh, I just decided to go ahead and get me some new ones. And again, you can see that burner on that side down there. There you go, booger. You want to see how this baby works? There's the innards. Again, cast iron. There's the inlet for it. Woo. Baby, that's a good cooking grill there. Alright, just kind of setting this stuff on some cardboard over here on the side. Alright. And I'm gonna push all this down because I've got another like a drip tray down there. That uh, that'll catch all this stuff. So those come out. These come out. 
and you can kind of see that drip tray down on the bottom. I'll slide that out here in a minute. But let me go ahead and take these out of here. Oh yeah, baby. Clean these all up. We'll be right back, y'all. All right, so there you go. I got all the burners and the trays and everything taken out of there. And you can see down here, I've got my electric igniter down here. Probably can't see it going. Got one on that side and got one on that side over there. there you can see it sparking a little bit over there. Nice. And my drip tray. Let me show you all this. I get my camera guy here cooperating with me. This is a handy dandy feature right here. Little drip tray. Right here. If I can get it out of there. Usually comes out pretty good, but I've got all this junk. I'm gonna spread it out a little bit here. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice little drip tray. Catches all your grease and everything. There we go. Well, I'm making a mess, y'all. Alright. So there you go. There's the inside of that baby. Let's see if you can see that. Yep. Yeah. Stainless steel bed. All the way. Gotta love it. Alright, we'll be back. Alright, so I got everything laid out. There's my burners. Here's my little deflector shields. I've coated everything down with some oven spray. And we're gonna just let it sit here. Here's the old the old uh, ceramic tubes. Here's my grease pan I pull out, clean it. So that's what we got. Let this uh, oven stuff uh, sit on here, oven cleaner sit on there for a half hour or so, and then we'll flip it over to the other side. There you go. And I did spray down the inside of my grill as well just so as you know what's that side looking like Whew, there you go all right all right everybody i'm just about done doing the grill cleaning it up and it's kind of getting dark out here so let me show you uh, i made some mistakes earlier but uh it's it's actually stainless steel the whole thing is stainless steel so the burners uh, the racks cleans up good check it out all right, so here's all my parts, my burners and stuff, and the racks, and those deflectors, and the, uh, see, it's all stainless, y'all, even the burners. I thought the burners were cast iron, but nope, they're not. There's the bread rack, and I am still working on the drip pan tray over here, so I still got some uh, oven cleaner on there. Let me show you what the grill looks like. All those two things right there, the uh, ceramic dimmer flitches, that's what I'm going to replace. I've got some brand new ones for that. All right, let's show you the grill. Oh, and uh, I got a natural gas grill. There's my natural gas line going into it. Taps into the fireplace on the house. And here you go. Here's the inside of the grill. All bright and shiny. And I decided to leave some of this on there on both sides. It's that uh, like carbon buildup stuff. Kind of, I like that. It's like having a regular barbecue, you know. But anyway, all this is stainless steel, y'all. Cleans up real good. There you go, there's the lid. The front of it. Nice. Alright, I'm going to put all the guts inside this thing. We'll be right back. Alright, it's time for these burners. And as you can see down here at the bottom, they are stainless steel. The whole thing's stainless steel. That's pretty cool. And these just kind of slip that down in there. Like that. There's well. one. Oh, and what you want to do is make sure all these holes are clear. You know, if they're stopped up. Go ahead and uh, unstop them. And here's the adjustment for your uh, uh, oxygen. And I'm just leaving it the way I had it. It worked pretty good. Go on. Ha. There we go. Sorry about that, gang. I was trying to get around the, uh, the igniter down there. All right. So, igniter works. Yep. Got spark on both sides. Nice. Now, for the uh, the new piece that I bought, the uh, the ceramic uh, rods, let me show you that. All right, so this is what we got. They sell these rods in packs of three, and there's 18 rods for each side. So it's 36 rods. So I got 12 of these three packs. Like that. There's one more. Okay. And then here are, let's get that junk out of the way. There you go, Moonshine. Okay. And these are the containers. 
for those rods, the holders. See these rods, they just fit straight down in there. All right, so uh, let me let me get this sorted out. I'll be right back. All right, let me show you how easy this is, guys. One of these sides on these trays comes up. It's, it's screwed here, and then once you have them all in, there's another screw that goes in right here to hold them all in. So when you're starting off, you just flip this up, and you just start laying these 18 in there. Just like that. And once you have them all in there, then of course you're going to close it. Screw it down like that. Pop it in the grill. So let me finish these off. Be right back, y'all. I'll show you when I'll install them. All right, I got both of these done. There you go. I got two full racks. And these are designed so that if they start getting dirty, you can roll them over a little bit and let a different side of them get heated up and uh, burn the crust, crust stuff off of there. Though, Anyway, if that still doesn't work, these are also designed to flip upside down, sit in there, crank your burners up all the way. It's like a self-cleaning oven. Pretty neat. Oh, sorry about that. I hit the camera. That goes in there just like so. Grill, grill's going on top of there. Let me go check the uh, the drip tray. It should be uh, cleaned up by now. Be right back. I got my drip tray put back in. My little grease catch-all thing. Now all that's left to do is put our grills back on there. This is some heavy stainless, y'all. These are well, well-built grills here. Uh, let me see if I can get this puppy fired up for you real quick. All right, I got my gas turned on a little while ago. Let's light that baby up. There's one side. Come on, baby, you can do it. There you go. Both sides, lit up. Turn the light off, see if y'all can see it. There you go. How about that, y'all? Now what happens is, get me a little bit of light right there. What happens is those ceramic uh, tubes, they're hollow, but they're ceramic and they get heated up and they retain heat. So again, this thing cranked up uh, all the way, hits about a thousand degrees Fahrenheit, or if I need to, I can do low and slow, like I said earlier, but there you go, guys. That is my grill. It's all cleaned up, ready for some more steaks. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.